Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Scala. In this video, I'll be talking about variables and how we can print in Scala. Let's get started. First of all, what is variable? We can define variable in a layman language like it's a small box used to store the data. When we assign a value to a variable, we are basically putting something in a box. So variable is just like a box we are having which is used to store a data. And it is common for all the programming languages. So it's not a new thing in the Scala as well. And how we can uh, declare a variable in Scala and how it is different from other programming languages. Uh, like in a, uh, when you declare a variable, we get a, we give a unique name, which we call it as identifier, define the type of data it can store and set its initial value. This is how we used to do in a other programming languages. But Scala has some different way of uh, declaring the variables. Let's see the declaration, how it can be done with the help of first syntax. We can declare a variable with this syntax. This is the syntax we follow keyword space a variable name colon data type equal to initial value. And let's see it's one example. In this case, we are using the uh, VAL as a prefix, then a variable name as my first Scala variable colon data type is integer equal to the initial value. Actually, every in every Scala like a query, you'll be finding uh, some prefix with the likes of VAL or VAR or lazy. So we'll be talking about these things in detail in upcoming videos. But VAL here, uh, you can see it's a immutable variables. Immutable means which we can't change, right? So we can have VAR uh, available as well. Uh, the meaning of VAR means we can change. Let's talk about it in little detail in next slide. In this case, uh, how we can choose the right keyword? The variables of the type VAL are immutable variables. Once they are initialized, they can never be reassigned, right? That's why they call it as immutable. The variables of type VAR are mutable variables. It means they can be reassigned throughout their lifetime as long as they are valid. But we talk about this in the next video when, when uh, I'll be separately uh, discussing the uh, stuff like what is mutable and what is immutable. Right, for a time being, just remember mutable means which we can change, immutable means which we cannot change. Now let's talk about how we can uh, uh, print a very first little thing in a Scala. So we all know that whenever we learn a new programming language, the very first thing comes uh, to us, it's called hello world, right? So let's see how the program looks uh, in a Scala. We simply have to call print function and we are just uh, using the hello world. So hello world will be printed on the screen. I'll be showing you examples just in a while. Now, what are the different printing methods in Scala? The very first method that we use in a previous uh, slide as well, it was called print and next one is print ln. Then we have print f. So what is the difference between print, print ln, print nf, print f? Let's talk about it. First is print. The print is the simplest method uh, for displaying the output in Scala. It just print everything you pass it one after another in the same line. Then we have a print ln. Print ln means new line. Here, uh, we, if you want to display each specific output on a separate line, we should use println. We'll see example in a on a Scala terminal in a while. Last is printf. Printf means formatting text. Here f means formatting text. You can pass, you can use it to append different data types to your text that is to be printed. Let's see now on a Scala, uh, how that, what's the difference between these three things. I've already have opened up my Scala here. You can see, first of all, I'm using the print, simple print. In this case, you can see the everything got printed on the same line. Hello world three, how are you? But if we have used print ln, so all the three things got printed in the new line. Hello world three, how are you? At last, we are having the difference between print ln and print f. Uh, if I'm using print ln, whatever there in the double quotes, like whatever there in, uh, in this, uh, like inside that bracket, okay, uh, it will be printed as it is, you can see number equal to percentage d comma 123 but in the case of printf it has recognized the like uh, uh, the meaning of this d and i just printed number equal to 123 so this is the difference between print print ln and printf i hope uh, with this short little video you have we have understood that what's the meaning of variable how we can declare a variable and how we can print in a scala i hope you must have understood everything and uh, for our upcoming stuff i'll be showing you in the next video right Thanks for, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.